Meet the man who is about to take a dive into the coldest place on earth to spread the word about climate change. A week ago Lewis Pugh, midway through his training camp on the Isle of Lewis for the pioneering endurance swim he is about to do in sub-zero East Antarctica, opened his door in tong to a storm. The winds, he recalls, were around 90 miles an hour and rain was coming in horizontally. This was the weather the ocean advocate and UN patron of the oceans had come to the Outer Hebrides for. It didn't daunt him. Pugh, who was the first man to long-distance swim in all seven oceans, across the North Poland in a glacial lake on Mount Everest, has known more terrifying extremes. The wind was so strong it was difficult to close the front door, the 50-year-old says. I realized this really was simulating the conditions I'm going to find in Antarctica. Rather than swim in the sea, and risk others' lives, such as those of the RNLI, he headed with three training companions for a lock on the island and found what he describes as some of the most atrocious conditions I have ever experienced. It was the type of waters you would only go into if a child was drowning, he says. The environmental campaigner, who has been swimming the world's oceans for more than three decades, believes the world is in a situation that requires the urgency we might give to a child drowning. It's that sense of alarm that is driving him to swim across a supraglacial lake in Antarctica on January 22, a feat he hopes will help persuade governments to create a network of marine protected areas, MPAs, around Antarctica and tackle climate change. It is what is behind what has been described as his speedo diplomacy. Pew's aim, he says, is about trying to raise awareness of climate change. But he admits, we are so far past that. If you are not aware of climate change you're either an ostrich or an Australian politician. The kilometre swim he is about to do in an Antarctic area which holds the record for the lowest temperatures on Earth, and in just his speedos, is all about calling on world leaders to have their own courage. One of the reasons Pew chose Lewis as his base for training was to send out a political message. It was because our futures will be determined in Glasgow, at the 26 Colombian Pesos UN Conference on Climate Change, he says. And I don't say that lightly. We can't kick the can down the road any longer. 25 Colombian pesos in Madrid was a bitter disappointment. All roads now lead to Glasgow. The UK government is going to have to do some very heavy lifting. They must use all their diplomatic effort to ensure all 196 nations commit to ensuring we take urgent action. We have to do everything we can now to fix the problem. And if we don't the scenes we are seeing now in Australia are going to be common. He also chose it because th for more on this story, visit the news article link.